What's up, YouTube? Happy Friday. Well, I'm going to give you the estate of the estate market. The state of the the state of the estate market. <laughs> yeah. I was listening to a guy this morning on the old YouTubes talking about what is going on in the used car market or the automobile market for that fact and how it kind of controls what's going on in the world today because it trickles down everything made common sense a month or so ago you go buy a car dealer their new car lot was bare so they were buying not not taking in trade-ins but they were buying your used car and paying way too much And you might find this hard to believe, but used cars are where dealers make the money. But anyways, he was stating the fact that your $3,000 Kia last year is now worth $9,000. And I've noticed in the estate pipe market, these are these are three of my my pipes, high end pipes that I got on the estate market last year. And you'll see the same thing on eBay. We can use eBay because everybody uses eBay. I use eBay and other things, and I'll get to that in a minute too. Your $30 K Woody last year. They're now starting their bids at 90 bucks in that neighborhood. You still get lucky and find somebody that hasn't uh, decided to inflate their sales. So, so things are hard finding the state pipes. We got the pipe show coming up uh, next weekend. Not tomorrow, but next weekend. So hopefully, we'll be able to do something down there. But I happen to have been on a local estate sale auction site. And they had a Joby, which is a good pipe. But it's not a high-end pipe. They had a K Woody. This particular K Woody is a good pipe, but it's not a high-end K Woody. And they had an ashtray and a pipe lighter. And I said, well, I'm going to go in on that. So this particular auction site, you can either do your bids in dollar increments or you can just say, I'm only going to pay 40 bucks for this and you try to throw that in and then it'll bid up like eBay as you go along. 
which is what I determined that I was going to pay for these two pipes, an ashtray and a pipe lighter, which hopefully I would have been able to double my money. So I put in my $40 bid. In three minutes, I was out of the running for it. There's one particular guy around here that has apparently deep pockets. Because for like, oh, two years since all of a sudden he started showing up in these auctions, it's become a game on who can bid up who the highest. Well, he had to pay, and he paid up for those pipes. So, as, and as some of you guys know, I'm looking for a, a used van, truck, car. But the used car market is nuts, so I'm waiting it out. Or trying to wait it out. I, I keep looking every day. But I'm not desperate. So, anyways, I hope you guys are uh, doing okay. Things are uh, holding their own here right now. I got doctor's appointments next week. And uh, they've scheduled Sean's surgery. So, hopefully soon the dark cloud will move on. So, until the estate market comes back to grind, back to the ground, it's going to be tough coming up with estate pipes. So, hey, if you got any pipes you want to get rid of, hit me up. Yeah, there's another guy over on uh, Facebook. He's getting desperate because he's he went from buying one, two pipes to putting an ad out there that he'll buy an entire collection. I almost gave it a thought. I figure... I figure my pipe collection ought to be worth about $9,000. But then I'd have to start all over again during the inflation period. That's just crazy talk. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. For those that are going to Columbus, I hope to see you in Columbus. Every day is a school day. If you're not learning, you are being left behind. Much love. See y'all soon.